The presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, are expected any moment in Mombasa. They're going to hold a major rally at the Tononoka grounds. Remember, Mombasa is one of the hotly contested uh, seats as far as the governor's position is concerned. There are two individuals, one from ODM and another from WIPA. Remember, this, uh, these are two parties. They're all under the NASA outfit. Now, just to tell us more on what to expect from this major rally, according to the uh, NASA supporters, we're now joined live by reporter Francis Ontomwa. Now, Ontomwa, good morning. Morning, and what do you have for us? Well, you saw final touches here at the Mamangina Drive where NASA is expected to make their final submissions here to the coast uh, people. Of course, being one of the most important uh, regions in their, in, their, in their political mathematics, and that is why they are all camping here. Raila Odinga and his co-principals are already in town here, meeting a number of groups uh, before they finally converge here to address their supporters. And of course, coming few days uh, since uh, Uhuru Kenyatta also made his final uh, speeches here at the Tononoka grounds where he had a mega rally at that particular point. And what to expect today? A lot of issues, of course, quite predictable and what to expect uh, that will be coming from Raila Odinga. Of course, the question of uh, historical land injustices, the question of uh, the question of extrajudicial uh, killings that have been uh, quite char characteristic of the region are some of the issues that, to expect, that uh, will, of course, be expected on the podium. And basically, Raila Odinga is back here in the coast region, really, to try and remind the people of the coast region that it's still remains their saviour and of course trying to see whether he can be able to rub the footprints that have been left here behind uh, by Uhuru Kenyatta and therefore a lot to expect here and another top key highlight that will be of course expected to feature here will be uh, interesting actually to see how Ray Laudinga and uh, uh, Kalonzo Musioka will be handling the sibling rivalry that is expected to play out here uh, in Mombasa here in Taita Taveta County in Kwale County there are top races that is uh, on the governorship seat that has Wiper and ODM all contesting these seats and therefore for looking at how they'll be able to woo and talk to these uh, uh, candidates. There were uh, indications earlier that uh, they will settle on one candidate in all these seats, but it looks quite unlikely at this particular juncture because it's um, hours actually to this final contest. And therefore, uh, a lot to expect here. We understand that uh, the crowds, of course, are starting to build because you're starting to see people moving here already at the Mamangina Drive uh, to see whether they can be able to make that mega rally that they're talking about. And therefore, uh, really a lot to look, uh, to look forward to and of course we are still here to relay that to you Yusuf. Thank you Antomo for that and one final question you, you already indicated uh, that you know it will be very interesting to see how the NASA leaders are going to behave uh, in Tononoka bearing in mind that they have two uh, key candidates for the governor's position Ali Hassan Joe of ODM and Wipers Hassan Omer but there's something else here uh, Antomo we know very well that Jubilee together you know President Uhuru Kenyatta have been making serious inroads at the coast. Do we expect NASA leaders to water down whatever, you know, Jubilee had promised there? Exactly, Yusuf. They are basically Raila Odinga will be here to remind the people here that he is still the man. They voted for him in the last general election. He did not make it to the presidency, but he's still their safest bet, as he has repeatedly said on the podium. And that is the same, same message that is expected to be here. And about the sibling rivalry, the sibling rivalry in Mombasa, of course, will have Hassan Omar of Waipa and Hassan Ali Joho. And for the first time, we expect that they will be on the podium uh, for some reason or so for some reason, actually, Hassan Omar has been uh, not uh, participating in the, in, the, in the NASA campaigns. Uh, this time around, we are told that he will be in this meeting, and therefore very interesting to see how the top uh, principles will be handling the, 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 the rivalry that is between them. And it's not just in Mombasa. We also have Kwale, where uh, Chirau Ali Makwere of Waipa is also battling Issa Chipera of ODM. And also Taita Taveta, where Granton Samboja of Waipa is also trying to muscle it away from uh, Thomas Modego of ODM. Those are the... Those those are the sibling rivalry that will be playing out here, but largely Raila Odinga and uh, Kalonzo Musioka and the other core principals will be trying to package a message uh, to the coast region to tell them th that this is the final lap, this is the last uh, chance that we have to talk to you, and what we are bringing to you is a message of, uh, of redemption and a message really to, to ensure that uh, the region is not left out uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the entire ma matrix of trying to, de to deliver the country. Therefore, a lot to expect. Raila Odinga is already in town is holding a number of meetings with a number of groups and any moment from here we will be expecting actually to see crowds moving in here for that afternoon rally, Yusuf.
Many thanks, Ontomo, for that uh, update at a time. You know, politicians are trying to make uh, use of the most valuable asset they have right now, which is time. And we're just three days uh, away to the uh, D-Day, that is on Tuesday, when Kenyans are going to the polls and, you know, choose their next batch of leaders. Uh, before we resume our discussions here and maybe get final comments uh, from our panelists in studio, let me hand over to Julianne, who is on the other end of our studio, and she's on standby, ready to give us uh, ev any, you know, everything that is trending on on, you know, social media. Julian. Thank you so much, you.